Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Andrew. And we are in the band Group Love, and you are watching Ambi. Ambi. How's it going? Good evening. Hello. How are the both of you? We're doing great. Doing fantastic. Awesome. Happy to be here in Toronto. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Yeah. So yeah. I, I want to kick things off by diving right into your new record, Big Mess. How's it feel to have finally unleash this with all your fans? It's amazing. It's, um, I think, more rewarding than it has been on, on the first two uh, album releases. Um, we, this is the first time we really took some time off between albums uh, and just had some time apart, honestly, to just like reflect and not uh, really do a ton of collaboration for a year other than Hannah and Christian having a baby. That was a big collaboration. Um, <laughs> and then uh, and then coming back into it, um, I think we were so much more hungry to get back into the studio together. And um, and I think we just challenged oursel ourselves a, more on, uh, a little more on this one. And it's, yeah, I think it's our best work to date. And we're very excited to be out and, and t touring it and playing these new songs. And yeah, and that's, I'm gonna stop rambling now. <laughs> Well, for me, the term big mess, it definitely feels endearing in the song Welcome to Your Life. So to you, what is a big mess? I mean, it's different for everybody. I think for us as a band, a big mess was, you know, everybody going through this time of sort of total, like, indecisiveness and kind of confusion coming off the road for basically six years straight. We had been touring and, and coming home and thinking you know, what actually do we do now that we have time off and, you know, what are we going to do with this time? How are we going to, are we, you know, you got to reconnect with friends. I mean, there's, there's so many things that kind of happen when you're touring nonstop that, that are kind of unique to this, to the band life. So I think we all kind of came home to a big mess, uh, individually. And then the album itself musically was a big mess because it was, it was just a, such a hodgepodge of collaboration and ideas that came together. I mean, that song, Welcome to Your Life in particular, was, I think, three separate ideas from, from three different members that somehow shouldn't have gone together well musically and ended up working perfectly together. So it's, it's both musically a big mess and also just representative of where we are in our lives and where we were uh, while we were making the album. The video for that song is amazing. You're performing in a school classroom, and it's just such a cute video to watch. So for you, I have to ask, what were you like in school? Andrew? Andrew went to an all-boys school, so that's, I feel like... Uh, I went to an all-boys high school, yeah. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I was a pretty good kid in school. I mean, you know, there's, like, the kids that are, like, just stupid and get caught for everything. They're, like, troublemakers, yeah. but they're just fucking dumb. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And like, then there's like the kids who are like like doing bad stuff in the parking lot in front of yeah, the security like guard. Smoking weed like in the parking lot of school. It's like why don't you just smoke weed two blocks down the street? Yeah, you know what I mean. So I was like the two, latter of the two. You, know? <laughs> you were the like, two blocks down kid. I was the two blocks down. Guy. Okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I was. A, I was. A, I didn't go to an all boys high school, so I, I'm not as um, some subdued sexually as Andrew <laughs> later in life. But I think um, I was the two blocks down kid as well. Yeah. That's basic, and I'm a, and I was a total nerd. So, what do you what do you want to be? Do you want you want to be sexually subdued or a total nerd? I don't know. <laughs> you decide. You. you decide. <laughs> you decide, <Yeah>. folks. <laughs> We've before called yourselves a band of outsiders, and you really do just seem to embrace everything you're about, embracing the weirdness from one another. So, when you think about your bandmates, what are some of the quirkier things you've learned about one another over time? Oh, so, so many things. Um, Hannah's like secretly an incredible like hip hop connoisseur and rapper and freestyler. Okay. Like she beat Mac Miller. Like it wasn't even a competition in Japan. In yeah. Ja yeah. We, we were doing some shows together and uh, no, it was in Australia. I thought that was in Japan. Mac Miller. I think so. Oh, you, I think you're it right. It was in Japan. Rock bar. And one night uh, they just got into like a freestyle battle. You know, he's like a very successful rapper. Yeah. And she just wiped the floor with it. Really? Him. Oh yeah. my god! Like, and she, I think she would every time. That's like a challenge to Mac Miller. You okay. want to try to come back at Hannah and like try to redeem yourself? I doubt it'll happen. But <laughs> yeah, she wiped the floor with it's them. It's impressive. It's okay. They're friends now. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. Uh, Andrew's a great surfer, but I've always known that. That's not really that quirky. 
That's not that quirky, is no. it? No. Um, I, I love to play squash, which is a really ner- another nerdy thing about me. What does Dan like to do? Dan Dan, Dan loves Pearl Jam. Dan loves Pearl Jam. Dan sleeps in his bunk with all his clothes on and his suitcase at his feet. Yes. Really? Yeah. Doesn't that he's, make it tighter? The he's like the like kid coffins. who has like all the teddy bears. He doesn't want to get rid of any of the teddy bears <laughs> in, his, in, his, in his bed, so he's like 50 teddy bears and can't get in. Yeah. And we have like we have assigned bunks for bags that you can put. Ba- There's like a free bunk to put your little bags on. And he won't do it. He sleeps mm. with his but suitcase. Hats off to Dan, I will say, because he travels the world with literally a tiny vintage suitcase that was like his mom's mom's. It's like his... We actually found out two days was like a family heirloom. Sort of like his, his mom's mom like bought it for his mom when they when she but graduated college. He's, whatever. Yeah. But, he, but he fits everything in this. But the remarkable like, the gosh. remarkable thing about his tiny suitcase and his lack of like overpacking is he smells terrific. He does. He's he his hygiene great. is is up there with some of the most hygienic people. You know, Martha Stewart. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, Michelle Obama, like his hygiene is all the way up there and I don't get it because he barely brings any clothes on tour. It's impressive. It's amazing. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's all I have to I say about it. Yeah. That's, those are the quirky things about our band. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing You can those. cut out the part about squash. That's really lame. That's cool. Yeah, know, I right? like it. I'm keeping, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> to wrap everything up today, is there anything you want to leave with all of the group love fans out there who'll be viewing the interview? Yeah, just we love you. We love our fans. We hope you love Big Mess as much as we love making it. We made it for you guys. And uh, come see it as a, at a show. Yeah, this is the best show we put on. This is the best tour we've been on. So please do yourself a favor. <laughs> <laughs> come watch Ryan beat the hell out of the drums. It's more of a favor to me to for you to watch. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. They're, they're, we're not doing them a favor. Yeah, they're, I guess They're doing us right. a favor. Yeah, thank you, by the way. Yeah, thank you say. so much. <laughs> yeah. We love you. Uh, Come see Group Love on the Big Mess Tour. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having us. It is my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time.